Yo, it's me, Chris, and I am here again rocking the only shirt I care about. It's the one with the holes. Whoa! Look at all those holes! And it just so happens to be orange. Wow, what a coincidence. I'm with this guy. Hey there, it's me, Curtis, a.k.a. King of the Two Beers, a.k.a. Built Different, a.k.a. Chubby Rain himself in the flesh. I am here. We are here, and today we are going to be doing a movie called... Final Destination. Yep, it was the most voted on the poll for the Patreon this week. And I'm pretty excited. Mainly because all I know about this movie is people dying in weird ways. Like randomly dying in weird ways, like, I guess? I don't know. That's all I know about the film from what I understand and what I've heard of since growing up. Because people have talked about this movie. Yeah. And if these methods of death are truly weird and just outrageous... Curtis and I will probably laugh, so be prepared for that. A hundred percent, I'm probably going to laugh. This is going to be a comedy. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a comedy. Yeah, it's a comedy. Oh, my God. But I also want to announce that on the Patreon, we have an exclusive thing going on. Ooh. For the uh, simple $5, which we put for uh, full reactions, uh, I was told to maybe consider to put it higher, but, you know, I am a gorilla for halloween not a goblin so i will not be taking more of your money yeah i feel like five dollars is more than enough anymore and it's just like ripping you off i kind of feel bad so like morally it feels incorrect yeah so on the patreon right now we have reactions to squid game yeah. we didn't want to put it on the channel and have tv shows here because we don't want to commit to tv shows at all not even that but it's more so we do we're doing it for you guys uh because like navigating our channel is so much easier without the random tv series popped up everywhere yeah uh We've asked some of the people and the Patreon and stuff like that, and they're like, eh. Yeah, so I met them halfway. On the Patreon right now, we are watching Squid Game. We have uh, the full reactions on there. They will not be coming to YouTube, so if you're interested, you can check that out. If you're not interested, so be it. You do you, bro. Yeah. So far, episode one is there. The rest will be there at some point. Yeah, planning to do another one. Well, there should be more by now, actually, because yeah. this is Friday. So, yeah. We're going to just jump into the movie right now, so... Uh, yeah, enough shilling the Patreon. Um, yeah. We're going to be going into the movie. We're going to hop into it right about... Ah, uh, now. Ah, uh, now! How's my suitcase working out for you? Whoa, 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 mama, mama, you gotta leave that on. It's got to be on the bag, or at least with the bag. What? Okay. For luck. Yeah, yeah, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh. Oh, fuck. So. On the loose. Live it up, Alex. You got your whole life ahead of you. Why does this sound scary when he says it yeah, like that? Yeah, why does it sound like his dad is threatening him? It's like, you better live it up, Alex. Yeah, like, oh, Getting shit. an ass whooping when you get home. <laughs> huh? 180? 180? Flight 180? Okay. Does that mean go? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. I will. All right. Alex is in charge. Dude, what the I don't know if he's happy or disgusted. <laughs> no, I, I didn't think anything could look worse than my yearbook photo. Well, check yourself out in real life, buddy. What the fuck's he want? <laughs> like, are they supposed to know French? Yeah. Death is not the end. It'll be for you if you harass my students. Ooh. Damn. Yo, man. What's with the white mark on his head? I don't know. Kind of looks like he's from Star Wars. Alright, so he's on to something. He's being weird. Did something happen with the plane? I don't know. Alex, let's go take a shit. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so tough. I mean, either way, it's a good plan. It's better to do it here than on the plane. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. It's not a plane ride without one of these demons. You know, because of you, I gotta sit here and watch fucking Stuart Little. Wait, is this plane falling apart? What's wrong with Stuart Little? I'm sorry I'm late on it. Is 
the Stiffmeister! Oh my god, that's where he's from! Dude, I love him. I can't remember his name. Oh my god. It's gonna eat away at me. I can't remember. Yeah, is this play falling apart or something? Like, everything just looks like it. He's... Like, everything he's looking at looks kind of bad. Yay! Ooh. Vive la France! Yay! <laughs> I hate that guy so much. Oh, shit. Um, that doesn't look fine. No! no! The snack! Oh my god, no. Like, they just lifted off! Holy fuck! What the fuck? Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Uh, see ya, buddy. Oh, uh oh, bye! <laughs> oh no, god damn! <laughs> oh, poor son. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! Did somebody explode? Oh, fuck! Yo, get the fuck off there now! Yeah, get the fuck off there, Alex. Alex, Oh my god, no! What? Just let him go! Yeah, let him leave! Yeah? Yep, I'm following that guy. He was a little too convincing. For real? Oh, is he getting a front row seat? There they go. Here we stay. Whoa! Woo! And there it goes. Holy shit. Up in flames. Dude, is he gonna get framed for it? <laughs> framed for what? Because he, he kept going on how it was gonna happen, that it did happen, so... That doesn't look good. Yeah, I kind of see what you mean. I'm Agent Ween, this is Agent Shrek. Shrek?! I understand it. Uh-oh. Oh, you're right. I think it was gonna happen. If that's the case, Alex. Then why did you really get off the plane? Oh, shit. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. She ain't got no fam. Or they didn't show up, which is even worse. Oh, that's kind of sad, actually. I'm surprised they let Alex go, though. That easily. Yeah, I am too, because, like... Very again, suspicious, you know? Yeah, like, sadly so. It was just... Ugh. I mean, there was nothing he could have done. No, you can't force people to believe you, right? No. Especially last minute like that. Before we can oh, escape the presence of death and time. There's Shrek. Agent Shrek. About the JD then, huh, Carter? Listen, don't you ever fucking tell me what to do, alright? Whoa, God damn, dude. I'm never gonna die. Oh, he's gonna die. He's 100% dead. That's a big red flag. I took my driver's test last week and got a 70. Ooh. It's the lowest score you can get, but I passed. Nice. Ooh, nice. Yeah, well, anyways, he goes, uh, young man, you're going to die at a very young age. Oh, shit. Not now, not here, not ever, Billy. What a... Ask him. <laughs> Yeah. I think it's enough. <laughs> oh, shit. Is it the wind? Huh? Something to do with the weather? I'm trying to understand what essentially, uh... That's unusual. Yeah, that that's, that's kind of weird. Is his ass gonna explode? 
Wait, no. What? Uh huh? Wait. <laughs> that will blow up my man's ass. What? Look, I hope not. Okay, all of these are saying his ass is being blown. Oh, jeez, dude. dude. I'm like hoping you're not right. That's that's not a way to go. Is he gonna die by a ra wait, wait, what wait, the f wait. What is this shit? What the fuck is that? What is this blue liquid? Does he slip and die? No fucking way. I don't know. It looks slippery. Yo. Mm, mm, mm. Oh shit. Oh. oh, what the fuck? There's no fucking way. Dude, this looks fucking horrible. The thing is, they'll believe it was just suicide because of his uh, brother. Yeah. What the fuck? Wait, what? I, I don't understand. He, uh, he was given the clue Todd as well. His name. So all I can think about is that like, they were all supposed to die on that flight, so now they're going to die in just weird, bizarre ways. To make things right. Oh, kind of like they were destined to die? Yeah. Or that they have, you know. That's the only thing I could think of. Like, that was such a bizarre fucking well, why death. Why is he give? why is he giving clues, though, before their death? I don't like, know. He what if Todd was just the first? Of us. I want to see him again. Then let's go see him. What? They're gonna sneak in and find Todd's dead body. Uh, looks like it, I guess, yeah. <sighs> this is... Oh. Like, actually sneaking in to see it. Huh. Huh. Tony fucking Todd. Holy shit. I'm his, I'm his friend and, and uh... I know your death. There are no accidents. It's all part of death's sadistic design leading to the grave. You figure out the design you can cheat death? You've already done that by walking off the plane. Fuck, dude. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I love Tony Todd. He's so fucking good. <laughs> that last line fucking scary, dude. The mortician said that death has a design. But what if it was our time? What if we were not meant to get Just like you said, plane? right? Unless we find the patterns and cheat it again. Hmm. Baby, come on, not now. Carter! Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. If you want to waste your life beating the shit out of Alex, then you can just drop fucking dead. The fucking bus! Holy shit! He saw it! Yo, that was actually pretty unexpected. Wow. Very coincidental with that line. Yep, drop dead. Boom! So, is it in order of who was supposed to die first? Okay, first was Todd. Then was Terry. They're dying. Oh. That right, is well. definitely creepy. Oh shit! You're gonna think Alex is like a murderer or some shit. Yeah, just call nine one one. Hi, this is Valerie Luton. I need Agent Shrek. <laughs> Agent Shrek. Oh my god, that name does what not. What did they age call well. him Shrek? Oh my god, was this before Shrek? 
just that character name has not aged well. No, what a coincidence. Yep, here comes Shrek. What are you doing here? Shrek and Donkey. <laughs> just, uh... Well, you're dead. Yep. The only man who could save you is now gone. Ah, and here's the nice breeze. Yep, the wind. It's so bizarre. Now I'm just so curious of how it happens, because, like, dude, like... It, it just... Todd's was just fucking wild. Yeah. Like, all the coincidences that had to happen for it to happen. And then she got hit by a bus straight out of nowhere. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, so I'm wondering, is that death himself? Or itself? Uh-oh. You got hot water, you got knives. Whole lot of danger in this kitchen. Or the gas stove explodes? Oh. Nice! Oh. Whoo, okay. Wait, what? What? Wait, wh 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 what is this supposed to do? Is she gonna slip? Wait, it's alcohol. The stove is on. Is it a trail of fire? She gonna get zapped from the computer? What the fuck? There's just too many variables. Is that a dragon claw? What the fuck is that thing? Is it the computer? Oh shit, it's the computer. Really? Don't check out the Why steam. would you look? Oh. Oh, oh shit. Fuck. Is that the jugular? Woo. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we restarted the music. Nice. That's kind of cool. Holy shit, dude. Again, I didn't see that happening. Oh shit, it is a fire! Oh my god. Whoa! It's going to the gas stove! Woo! Shit! Just when you think it couldn't get any worse. Oh my lord. You, there's no way you live this. The knives! No! Oh fuck, no! Dude, you no, 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 fucking no, no, idiot! Woo! Bro, you're going to the scene of a crime. Holy shit, bro. This guy looks so bad. Oh, Christ. Holy fuck. Oh, he's going to prison, dog. It's done. Oh, my. This looks so fucking bad. Holy shit. That's actually kind of funny. Hey, Alex. Boom. Why'd you want us to meet you here anyway, huh? Because they're watching me. He could be anywhere from here to a mile down the road. So you guys drive down there, start that way, and we'll meet back around the middle. So you're telling me he's just hiding in the forest? Seems like it. Wait, don't tell me it's that easy. He's just there. Does she make them go there for a reason? To leave them... Oh. I mean, what's the fucking point, right? Me and Terry, we'll be back together on the other side. So why wait any longer? Oh my god, no! Dude. Oh my god, why? Why? I may as well go out on my own free will. Oh my god, no. Alright, he's not handling the situation that well. Dude, is he like high on adrenaline or something? Or he's like on a rush or some shit? Wait, no, you don't even wanna know. We're afraid. A train! Oh, fuck. <gasps> oh, shit! Why? What? Wait, why? 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 It's not the way. Get out of the car! Come it's on! Coming. It's coming! Oh, Are you fuck. for real? He's not gonna be able to get out. Car the car door! Oh shit! Whoa! Oh, he actually saved him. Shit! Oh, he pissed his pants, but saved him. Hey man, you know I let it slide. Yeah. I, I, I Wait. Better... 
I saw shrapnel. I did too. Holy fuck. There's no way. There's no fucking way. Dude, don't tell me the fucking train snipes him. Oh no, is Billy gonna get sniped by the fucking... Billy's gonna get sniped. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yep, there it is. Oh shit! Holy fuck! Woo, he got a little ahead of himself. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, hey, hey! Why don't you just get the fuck out of here? What a fucking disaster. So I wonder, if he cheat the design, in a sense, and skipped Carter, is Carter free? I don't think so. Like, I don't know how it works. So anything with the potential to kill. That is not a way to live. Nah, man, he's totally lost his mind at this he's point. He's paranoid beyond belief. Again, you know, he has every right to be, but wow. Oh, shit. It's always going to find a way. Holy shit. But I got this cabin rigged to beat you now. Holy shit, dude. Is he like 1v1ing a uh, fucking death itself? That's insane. Impressive, though. But insane. Like, honestly, the mental fortitude on this man. Who's next? Oh, shit! What the fuck? That is true. In the original uh, vision that he had, it just, he was—he stayed in the seat, right? No, he moved seats. Oh yeah, he moved seats. You're right. Yeah, so she would be next, not him. Is he literally gonna get in a boat? Is he really gonna be able to paddle that fast? I don't know how far away he is from her place up in this cabin. I think she said it wasn't that far. No, dog, no! Keep the dog safe. No! Wow. This guy is incredible. He's a paddler. Still running? Okay. Dude, he's like E.T. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, fuck. Oh, that's a pretty bad fall. Ooh! No. Oh my god, please save the fucking dog. Not the dog! Save the dog. Save the dog! Oh, run! Run, dog, run! Okay. Whoo! Holy shit! Holy fuck, man! <gasps> no fucking way! He's smacking it with a shovel! I mean, he's got nothing else- Whoa! Holy shit. Hold on, Alex. Come on. Stay with me. He yep. wanted to beat death at his own game that fucking bad, man. Yep, chest compressions. Oh, Paris. I can't believe it. You know, I just can't... The fuck? 
What? He lives. Okay. You were right, Brown. He did skip us. It was a design. No. No fucking way. Oh, no fucking way. I know. Oh, no. Oh, fuck, no. Fuck, no. Oh, no! His vegetables! Oh, my God. So who's next? That's where they end it? Oh my god. Kind of makes sense. You can never truly get away from it. Holy shit. You know, there's no like skipping, there's no like cheating it. It's always gonna come and bite well, you in the ass. That fucking sucks. It really does. So we just finished watching Final Destination and um... It was nothing I expected to be quite honest. No, not at all. Uh, it really took me off guard there. Yep, it probably made a lot of people afraid of flying. Uh, you know what? I truly believe this movie started a lot of fears for flying. 100%, man. Because <laughs> that, that's very spooky, man. Just BAM! And fuck it out of the sky, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, but it was very interesting how it played out, how it had a certain path it had to go. And even if it reset, or it dodged one, instantly just moves to the next. It'll the just next. skip to the next, but it'll keep going until they're all gone, essentially. Or... We do, it leaves it a cliffhanger. We don't even know if Carter gets killed or not. Yeah, I don't know you how know? many movies there are of this. I think there's like four or five. Not with the same actors, though. I don't know. So There's no way. I, I don't know. I feel like it would just be another a different story told from another perspective. Again, I have no clue as to what they would well, do with dude, it. Dude, Tony Todd, though? Tony Todd was absolute perfection. Did, did he play death himself? That's what it made me think. It, it made it feel like that was death. The, um, like that was the embodiment of death right there speaking to I, Alex. I thought so as well because it was very weird how he was so unfazed by them being there. Not just that when he said, I'll see you next time. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'll see you soon. Yeah, something like that. You know, it just it made me yeah. feel like that, that was the embodiment of death speaking to Alex. Dude, it was absolutely perfect, man. Have him be like that representation of death. Oh, Tony Todd is absolute perfection. Oh, dude, the, it's just his voice and the way he delivers, like, his lines, right? It's just mm -hmm. so ominous. It's so fucking spooky, man. You just feel it, dude. I, I absolutely love him, man. Uh, he's just amazing. And, um, I don't know, man. The movie's just... It, it, the, the deaths were so, like... The thing, you know what I really liked? I liked how it would it would set up the stage in a sense. Yeah, it, it, right? would, it would have it, so much going on, a lot of dynamic things happening. It's making yeah. you wonder what's happening here. How are they dying? Yeah, it's like and, the, the teacher in her house, for example, like it got it in the throat. Was, you thought you think, oh, that's oh, she it. she survives. Like, yeah. She's like walking to the thing, explosion, boom, hits the ground. Is trying to save herself still. The knife falls into her. Here he comes in. He's gonna help her. And then the chair just falls. The chair over falls over, and knocks, like, and finishes knife. her off. Yeah, that's so crazy. How it like so many different things would just happen to intervene to make it actually happen. Yeah, like you know. oh my god, especially with Todd, man, that sucked, dude. I, I like I you can't know what? I'm gonna be honest. Seeing Todd get strangled is a hell of a lot better than the first thing we thought his ass was gonna explode <laughs> on the toilet seat, man. I was actually fucking scared, man. I was, I was like, I don't want to see this shit, okay? That's that's painful as hell. Okay? I, it was the first guy's like, I think he's, like, he's sitting on the toilet, you know, that's showing the little thing in the toilet. So like, does the toilet just magically explode on his ass and goes whoo? Flying. He goes flying out of the house. Whoa! Yeah. See ya, Todd. Honestly, Detective Shrek as well. Yeah. Oh my God, that name oh, did not age. That was well. that as was soon funny. As he said it, I was like, like a double take. I was like, "Are you sure?" I, I don't know if we got it wrong, but it sounds it's like Detective Shrek. Detective Shrek, man, Officer Shrek, Lieutenant Shrek. I don't know what the fuck he is, but he's Shrek, right? But you know what? I actually liked the movie more than I thought I would. You know what? I even I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Like going into this movie, I was telling my brother I was not interested. I didn't care. I don't want to. I don't really feel like watching it. I watched it. And I actually liked it. <laughs> That's the yeah. thing. I genuinely actually thought it was a very good movie. Uh, like you said, uh, as you already previously mentioned, I genuinely like how there was a pattern stuff like there was like an order that it wanted to follow and take them out and it was so interesting how it's like oh okay this isn't gonna work out fuck you you're dead yeah and i think i left it on a good note
I think the cliffhanger, yeah, I think like it's an open ended great. kind of thing was very cool. Mm -hmm. You know, I liked that a lot. Yeah, I don't know. Just it was actually a much better movie than I was expecting. Yeah, much better movie, and it's it's hard because I, I don't really see this as a horror movie. It's, right, it's considered horror, and I can understand why. But but it's just like there's it just, it just didn't feel like so they say it's pretty much like the the big spooky monster is death itself essentially yes which is and know, it had its representation as like that little um they could see this like ghost kind yes, of thing like a, like a like a like a shadowy kind of like smoky figure in the background yeah every time that was nearby like death, when, like the presence of death is with them yeah it was interesting I kind of liked that too no, how it, there was it, never a actual it's like, I don't know it's hard because I don't see it as horror because it wasn't a scary movie I, I felt more suspenseful you know. In times, because it makes you you're like wondering, like what's going to happen next. Not I, it's as considered much, I'm scared. It, it's considered a horror thriller. Huh. All right, I guess thrilling. I, I can understand. Cause thrilling, like, yes. I I, it keeps I, I kept jokes. guessing, man. I'm like, how the fuck are they going to die? Yeah, it, there's just except for uh, what was it? Terry got hit by a bus like straight out of fucking nowhere. That was uh, that was actually unexpected. Yeah, I was, you know, I was expecting because there was construction happening. I was expecting maybe something will fall on one of them or something. Yep. No, just hit by a fucking bus. Just I don't know, but I'm like, yeah, that was pretty crazy. You know, movie was good. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to really say. The movie was actually surprisingly very good. You know, I wonder if the other ones are good. Well, someone will definitely tell us the comments down below. They usually like, do. Is it, like, guys, like honestly, like be honest in the comments. Is it worth seeing the other movies? Yeah, because uh, generally speaking, when it comes to horror films, I kind of like. Stay away from sequels. They're usually I, not that good. I don't... I find the second one tends to be promising, but after the second, oh my god, does it just yeah, go down? Like, usually after the second of any horror it's like franchise, it just kind of goes down. Alien, again. Aliens, great. Yes. But then after you start going to the next Alien movies, and you're kind of like, what the right, fuck? I think you can say the same for the Saw series. I Saw 1 is such a fucking good movie. Oh, yeah. I like that a lot, Saw it, 1. It, like, if someone has not seen that movie, it's just like, you have to fucking see it. That's a good movie. I, it's such a good movie. Saw 2 is okay. Saw 2 is not, not too bad. It's okay. It's not as good. But then, again, it's steady it just, decline. Yeah, it declines very fucking hard after that. I think I get the same with Nightmare on Elm Street. I, I watched the first one. It was good. Yeah. I, like I, I, do, I have not seen the first Nightmare on Elm Street. The original? Yep. I've not seen it. What? Yeah, I've not. you're fucking kidding me. No, I've not. Seen You've that. never seen Nightmare on Elm Street. No, I, I. It has Johnny Depp. I know it has Johnny Depp. Okay, I know it has Johnny Depp. Guys, like, what is... guys, it is October. We're probably gonna watch Nightmare on Elm Street at this point. This, this, I thought you did. No. Then when did I watch it? I, I watched you probably it. Probably saw it on TV or something. Uh, all I, I, uh, I've, I don't know much about the. Like, Have the... you seen the first Jason? Of course. I've seen the first Jason Voorhees. We've seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre already. On the channel? Uh, yes. I've not seen Hellraiser, sadly, but you've already done that movie. Oh, I did Hellraiser. You've already it's, done Hellraiser. It's so f good. Maybe we'll just we'll watch that on our own time. That's a good Most one to watch. Most likely we'll watch it on our own time. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of other horror classics that I've not seen, but Nightmare on Elm Street, 100%, I've not seen. Really? Yeah. I know it's very weird, but I've not seen it. We'll have to do I, it. it. The thing is, I know Freddy Krueger so well. <laughs> like, I actually, I, I know him so well, but I just, I've never seen the movie. We're going to watch it. That's a good one to watch. Nightmare on Elm Street's fucking great. Nightmare on Elm Street is a very good movie. That is for sure. Yeah, we're I mean, gonna we're gonna I don't do fucking it. know. But we're, we're we're gonna, gonna find we're, out. we have to do it now. This newfound information is staggering to me. Like, I don't I mean, know. It's because I just thought about. It. I was like, huh? I've never seen that movie. I was like, I was trying yeah. to think. There's some times where I think I've seen a movie and I actually haven't. Yeah, but that's what happened with John Wick. Actually, we're we're gonna have to do it. Okay, we're yeah. really gonna have to do it because that's just mind boggling. You got to see. Have you seen Child's Play? Oh, yes, I've seen Child's Play. You have? You sure? Yeah, 100% I've seen Child's Play. Okay, that's good. That one's like that. great. I've seen that one. It's very Chucky's good. Chucky's so fucking good, Chucky's man. The first good. one is just... It's magnificent, that movie. Oh, my God. Yeah. Just reminiscing a lot now. But I think we should... I, did oh, no, no, I want to say one more thing about Final Destination, though. Oh. I think it's a good concept. Yeah, I think it's you interesting. Know, I think it's a very interesting concept. I don't know if it's ever been done previously in any way or form. But I just kind of like the, the, the thing, like, you can't cheat your death. Kind of thing, and it's just like it will always come back for you. It'll always, your time is set in stone, kind of deal. Yeah, you know? Thanos said it best. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. You know, your destiny awaits you, kind of thing. You can't run away from it. You could try. Like, oh my god, the one scene I have to mention is like when he was living in the cabin by himself. That whole fucking setup. Like, dude, I would just say, death take me now. Fucking kill me, end me right now. I could not live like that. No. Little corks on every sharp object, man. 
I can't do that. It's fucking stupid as hell. <laughs> Eating his little canned tuna. Yeah, he, he didn't like his canned tuna, that's for sure. And I like how he thought... You know what I fucking like about that asshole? Mm. He thinks, oh, okay, let's just go and cork up all the sharp objects. But hey, let's leave all the, the, the fishing rods and, and the hooks completely free. It doesn't fucking matter. How could you forget that? It's the little things, dude. Sometimes even if you think you're t totally prepared, you're not always prepared. I thought it was cool that he tried to actually... Like, he was like 1v1-ing death. That yeah, was cool. that was actually cool. You know, was like he's like, fight me, bro. Fuck me up. All right, on that note, now I'm good to leave, okay? I just wanted to throw in those <laughs> okay. little bits. I really so, felt like talking about thank that. Thank you for watching, guys. We love you all. Your support and everything. October is really fun. Watching a lot of movies that I've wanted to see and I now have. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you a lot. Thank you very much. All right, so uh, just like Alex, we're gonna go run through the forest like ET and go home. Actually, even better than just Alex, like the entire class, we are piecing on now. Boom! We out of here. Woo! Let's go. You had to do the boom as well. I had to do it, man. I had to do it to those poor fucking idiots. All right, guys, peace out. Bye. Woo! Boom! <laughs> boom! Boom! Boom!